Hey friends, welcome back to my little art studio. I'm so happy you're here. I'm going to paint a giraffe on this 15 inch by 30 inch gallery wrap canvas from Michaels. I've already got the word love written on there. I just used a little piece of chalk pastel. It's an inch and a half thick canvas. I just love these. They're splined. They're so nice. I've already tightened it up. Uh, the reference, I'll link to the reference photo in this video description. The, I found this giraffe on Unsplash. Isn't that cute? Here I get a little closer. So I'm gonna, after I get the background painted on, I'm gonna set up a traceable that's three and three quarters by seven and a half. So it'll fit on an eight and a half by 11 paper. And then you can print it out 200% um, for 15 by 30. Alrighty, and then I'm gonna, I'm thinking, so I put some red oxide out, that little blob right there. Here, where's my, I'm looking for my red oxide. <laughs> I love Liquitex. And I just, I put it out for a color reference. And so then what I did was I put a whole big blob of cad red medium. Um, the reason I'm doing that is because my cad red is, Gosh, it might be five years old and I can tell it's starting to get a little, little thick, a little sticky maybe. Um, so I'm, it's a basics line. And so I just want, I want to use it up while it's still good. So I put out a big blob of cad red medium. Actually, I put it here and some yellow and a little bit of black. And I got kind of this reddish brown color. And then I pulled some of that reddish brown color over here, added more red and yellow and got pretty close to a red oxide. So I just kind of wanted to get it close. And then when I paint this background, we'll just see how it goes, but it's just kind of the ballpark I'm aiming in. Okay, let's have some fun. Just a thought or two. So this took two to three coats. And so I'd work, so I'd kind of work the top and then I dried it with a hair dryer, and then I'd flip it over and work this other part and dry it with a hair dryer. Um, I don't know if I like how it looks more red in my video camera. Well, hello Freckles, you wanna come up and say hi? Come on, here. I lower my seat a little bit, come here. I don't know if she'll hop up. Anyway, I've got a little bit of a light spot right here, but I think the giraffe is gonna go over it, so I'm not too worried about it. Come on, Freckles, come up, say hi. Yeah, here. This is Fre Freckles, who's not happy to be on camera. She's been with me, she's about 15 years old. She's been with me since she was about four, we think. Um, she helps me paint all the time. Okay, guys, I'll be back in a bit. Okay, I'm back already because I'm gonna set this up a little bit. Oh, here, actually, let's start here. I'm gonna use the cadmium yellow that I used in the background, uh, burnt umber, and Prussian blue for my giraffe, and also titanium white. I set up a traceable for you guys. It's on my website, annietro.com. So this traceable is three and three quarters by seven and a half. You could easily paint it on a four by six canvas or as a four by six and just crop, crop it a little bit. You could paint it on the eight by 10 and just crop it a little bit too. Print it out um, 200% for an eight by 10. So anyway, that's on my website. 
And then I'm going to zoom in. I'll bring the camera in when I start painting. I'm going to start with the eyes because I used I used a bright orange chalk pastel, but you cannot see it very well. Um, and I can't see it very well. It just didn't turn out as bright as I thought it would be. I should have just used white. There you can kind of see it better. So I'm going to start with the eyes and the nose and make sure I get those get the structure and get that correct. And then we'll hop back in as stuff occurs to me. Hey guys, I just wanted to pop in and talk about what I'm thinking. I can't remember if I talked about my uh, palette colors. I added a quinacridone just in case I didn't mention that before. Um, I'm pretty sure that's Prussian blue. I don't even remember my colors because I've been working on other projects and videos. It is Prussian blue hue. And then burnt umber. Cad yellow medium hue, titanium white, and then I just took a little burnt umber, um, a little yellow, and a bunch of white to make some beiges. And I made a little orange too because I ended up putting a little orange on here, even though over this dark background it's not very orange at all. But so what I've been doing is using even this little brush, little almost liner brush, to paint in the shapes and the eyes and the eyelashes. I may paint them out, but at least I kind of know where they are. And then, oh gosh, is that even a half inch filbert? But I'm going to switch gears now and I'm going to use, it might be a three quarter inch flat brush and make, <clears throat> excuse me, my voice is dry, and make some bigger progress with bigger brush strokes. Okay, I just wanted to let you know what I was thinking. I'll be back in a bit. Shoot, I forgot to show you did i show you my reference photo already so i'll link to this in the video description it's on unsplash and then i made the background dark in photoshop and then what's kind of nice let's see if i can do this is so you can zoom in and really see the eye and see the blue in the eye right there i'll put some of that in and then I made this, it looks bluer on the video than it does actually on my iPad. I made this blue, but that's nice. That's a, that's a nice touch. And I may need to make it all brighter. I'm just kind of, um, since it's such a dark background, I'm just finding shapes and darker values. And I'm also saving white. This is gonna look pretty darn bright against that dark background, but it's not white. Let's see if I can show you. Well, I don't wanna put white on my painting yet. I'm saving white for the last. It's going to go kind of in this area. Oop. In case you want to see. So that's sort of like round one of the eye. And I put in some of the darker lines just so I remember where they are. Um, but I might end up just painting over them too. There's the other eye. So it's starting to come along. And the nose. I could paint the mouth next too. I just kind of want to get the eyes and the, I do this quite a bit. I want to get the eyes and the nose in there. Um, Cause they're the most important part of this painting. It's a giraffe portrait. Okay, now I'll be back in a bit.
friends, I thought we would take a look at round one. So that now I'm, I'm using the, my better uh, camera on my phone. It's looking pretty good. I need to adjust some values. Like the eyes need to be a lot darker. The top of the mouth uh, needs to be a lot lighter. But it's, it's fun. I like um, painting in all the shapes and the values, get them kind of close, and then turn on the lights with the white and bring up the values or darken them where they need to be darkened. Yeah, those eyes definitely need some work, but it's fun, it's looking good. Actually, the neck here might be pretty good. I'm gonna back up a little bit. That's looking pretty good. It might be pretty close to done. Oh, and here's my reference photo. I don't know how it's gonna video. Not so hot. <laughs> you can't see it. That looks terrible. Okay, guys, I'm gonna work some more on this. Just thought you might wanna, here, I don't know if you wanna get a closer look at the mouth. Kinda see what round one looks like. And I'll be back after a bit. Okay, let's stop a second and talk about eyeballs, <laughs> which that sounds funny to me. So I'm, I'm not going to, as you just watched in that little bit of time lapse there, I painted with a really little, little liner brush. I'm not going to do the whole giraffe like that, but I'll probably do a little bit around the nose and the eyes um, like that because it's really starting to pop. So you watched me bring up the values here, kind of brought up the values here and darkened them here. And it starts to change. Like when I put a bunch of white here, I can even go with another layer of white. This got a lot darker, so then I lightened this up. But then the layers also start to help me. Like I left a little of the dark underneath there, a little like freckling. Okay, so we'll look at this eyeball, which is really close to done. I added a blue to uh, hint at the sky reflection there. I added more brown. I darkened it up compared to this eyeball. So you can see how the, hopefully you can see how the layers help you a little bit. And then if I end up finding out that my values are way off and I paint out some eyelashes, I'll just paint them back in again. You know, you kind of, I kind of go for the values, um, even if I sacrifice some really good eyelashes in the process and I'll go back and put them in. It'll be totally fine. Okay, I hope those comments help. I think I'm gonna work on lightening the nose so I can kind of, in right here, so I can kind of see how this giraffe's gonna start coming off the canvas. And this ear's darker. Oh, here, maybe you wanna see my reference photo. Sorry about my head, guys. But can you see how dark that eye is? Oop. Oh, and there's actually a little blue in there. It's a really good eye to paint. This giraffe has, that's one of the reasons why I picked it. And then it has a sweet kind of smile. But you can actually see the eyes. Okay, hopefully those comments helped and I'll be back in a bit.
friends, I'm done. Isn't that a sweet face? I'm gonna call it Sweet Pea. I really like how it turned out. I only used white like right here, right up there. And actually this is kind of a creamy color. Here, we'll get it closer. So I think that really helps it. Actually, maybe we wanna get back from it. I think that really helps it. Um, I don't know, just have more interest, more drama. You'll have to let me know what you think. You know what I should do maybe is like a little drive-by like we did um, earlier in this video. Oh, sorry, I'm trying to get it. Here, I'll show you a close up. So I didn't change the, um, do you call those horns? I didn't change those very much. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, they, both eyes are done. I really darkened them up. I'll scoot back for the ears a little bit. So yeah, I just have like a little bit of white right there. I think that helps things pop. Darkened, oh, I darkened the chin and added whiskers. That's fun. I think you might like that. All right, I hope you like this one. It's so fun for me when you guys tag along. I really enjoy that. Um, it's fun to share my art with you guys, get comments. I learn stuff from you. I'll be back in another video this week. Be sure to check that out. Um, we've got a new chalk video that we recently put up, a sunflower video that I think you'll like. It's a bigger sunflower with a bee. What else? I can't think of anything else. So I think that's enough commercials. Thanks so much for your support. Great big happy art hugs, and I hope to chat with you soon. Bye guys.